Namaste, Nihal, Boatarje. My name is Ludmila Sekachova. I am the coacher of the working group, a president of regional public organization, BRICS World of Traditions. And today I will be uh, moderating uh, our meeting. Друзья, мои уважения и любовь к вам неизмеримо больше моего знания английского. Поэтому мне будет помогать переводом член рабочей группы, э, аспирант Российского университета Дружбы народов Анита Тхар. Um, so, my respect and love to you is greater than my English skills. For this reason, today, uh, Anita Khan, the PhD student of the Rudin University, and a member will be uh, today assisting me and co moderating this meeting. Анита, вы можете использовать один микрофон на двоих, потому что эхо все равно есть. Uh, uh, Anita, садитесь со мной рядом. One minute, college. College. Нет, вы тогда со мной рядом сидите. Зачем вот там? Sorry, dear friends. Зачем вы ходите со своими этими? Сядьте со мной, табуретки, я. Now, please, Anita. So, let us break it again. Uh, since uh, Ludmilla's respect and love to you is greater than uh, her English language skills, uh, for this reason, today, uh, me, Anita Hart, the PhD student uh, of the Rudin University, and a uh, member of the working group will be uh, with, uh, together with Ludmila assisting uh, and co-moderating this meeting. Мы очень рады встрече с вами и от всей души благодарим вас, что вы в такое непростое время uh, виртуально с нами в России. We are very glad to meet you today and uh, sincerely grateful that in such a difficult time you are now virtually with us here in Russia. Настоящая дружба и сотрудничество не зависят от расстояний, а зависят только от нашей потребности быть вместе и помогать друг другу в жизни и деятельности. Бразильская пословица гласит «Друг не тот, кто...» кто говорит «иди вперед», а тот, кто говорит «идем вперед вместе». И мы следуем этой бразильской народной мудрости. Дорогие друзья, нас приветствует сопредседатель гражданского форума БРИКС Сопредседатель российских НКО по вопросам БРИКС и группы 20, директор фонда СПИД Инфосвязь, уважаемая Алена Перошкина. Thank you so much, uh, Ludmila, and good afternoon, co colleagues. And sorry for missing the video due to the pro technical problems. This is a pandemic COVID circumstances. On behalf of BRICS Russian Organizing Committee, Expert Council, and Civil BRICS Secretariat, I'm very much glad to welcome you, that you are all in good mood and decent health. During the pandemic, unfortunately, the video conference format is the only possible way of ma maintaining our dynamics of our cooperation. But I'm sure that very soon, when the situation permits, we will resume meeting in person. 
cooperation on people to people exchange and cooperation in the field of culture, arts, sports, youth, tourism has long been a, pri a priority for BRICS. The culture of the participating countries can interact not only within the framework of official events, but also by initiatives of the citizens of these countries. By developing and strengthening the cultural ties between the nations, we are building a language of communication on the basis of mutual understanding, mutual respect, and mutual support. I believe I, in future, this language will be successfully used in all other areas of collaboration and cooperation from science to technology, from business to healthcare, from social projects to innovative programs. The main goal of us, the main goal of civil BRICS is to prepare recommendations for the BRICS leaders. For this purpose, eight working groups have been established. And one of them, um, Yes, sorry. <laughs> I, would like, I would like to thank honorable co-chairs of our group. It's me, Elena Marinina, deputy CEO of Ross Congress Foundation, head of in, in a sorts of foundation, Ms. Lyudmila Sikachova, president of regional public organization BRICS, the world of traditions. And of course, our dearest, our partner, our civil, you know, civil colleague from the civil BRICS, Ms. Jane Mufamedi. She's a chief executive officer of Memorial Museum, Complex Freedom Park in South Africa. We carefully reviewed the set of zero draft recommendations. These are very substantial, and I would say yeah. ambitious initiatives in the fields of cultural networks, protection of cultural heritage. You all did excellent job, and I can't tell how much you contributed to the success of Civil Bricks Forum, and how much we all appreciate, appreciate your time, your efforts in such a difficult time. I would like to thank all the experts who joined us today and wish us vivid discussion and fruitful drafting. Thank you very much, guys. Спасибо большое, Алена, за ваше радостное напутствие и ценные пожелания в нашей работе. Thank you, Alena, for uh, your joyful and wonderful message uh, and wishes for in our work. Пожалуйста. Вот и. Друзья, я поздравляю. Sorry. Друзья, я поздравляю вас с началом нашей дискуссии, которая, мы уверены, будет результативным и насытит наши сердца доброй энергией и желанием двигаться, взявшись за руки по пути развития пятистороннего сотрудничества в культурном треке БРИКС. Let us congratulate uh, on the beginning of our discussion, which we are sure will be fruitful and will uh, fill our hearts with good energy and the desire to move together along the path of developing this five-sided cooperation in the BRICS cultural track. Дискуссию открывает Россия, председательствующая БРИКС в этом году. Russia is the chair of BRICS in 2020, opens the discussion. Коллеги, вашему доброму вниманию предлагаются выступления заместителя директора фонда Росконгресс, директора социальной платформы фонда Росконгресс, фонда Инасоциум, сопредседателя рабочей группы Елены Марининой. Вам слово, Елена. Dear friends, I invite for the presentation the deputy director of the Ross Congress Foundation, director of the Ross Congress Foundation social platform in a social foundation, the co-chair of the working group, Helena Marinina. Helena, the floor is yours. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, thank you very much for joining this conversation. I think that creating a cultural uh, conversation between countries is extremely important uh, for 
uh, for the whole world. So uh, let us try to uh, collect all our suggestions to, uh, to make a great communique, which we will present on the uh, BRICS forum later on. Uh, right now in Russia, we are in the process of uh, creating the um, creative, uh, Russian Creative Week, which will be art and design uh, event uh, of the biggest scale. And we hope that this uh, will become the biggest, uh, one of the biggest uh, events in creative industries and in culture in the world. Uh, this will happen in, uh, uh, in the middle of September. And uh, I am uh, inviting you to join us online. We are going to have uh, all our sessions and events uh, uh, broadca broadcasted on our website. Uh, right now, we are uh, working uh, a lot uh, uh, on our forums, uh, organizers, uh, organizer of which is uh, uh, Ross Congress Foundation, uh, where we create the uh, uh, space of trust, uh, the so-called space of trust, where we uh, uh, try to settle uh, dialogue between uh, civil societies and uh, cultural industries to find better understanding and to create uh, trade and cultural uh, links uh, 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 for, 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 for marketing uh, Russian products, uh, Russian uh, um, culture uh, to the world. I think that in this uh, respect, uh, BRICS uh, communication, uh, communication <laughs> of uh, the countries of BRICS is extremely important because uh, we are traditionally connected through the Silk Road, through uh, uh, lots of uh, trade and cultural relationships. And uh, I think that our goal is just to uh, systemize and to combine all the efforts which have already been created uh, uh, through thousands of years before us. Thank you, dear colleagues. And I hope that today we shall elaborate great network and a great uh, plan for the future. Thank you. Um. Thank you very much, Elena, uh, for your um, uh, valuable and uh, optimi uh, optimistic uh, uh, sub uh, sub <laughs> for your kind uh, and uh, pretty uh, flaws. Um, um, uh, colleagues, I, just, uh, I, have to, I have to be running to, 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 to get involved into, into the process of uh, getting together our um, uh, Russian Creative Weeks, uh, but I stay online with my colleagues and uh, we'll be working hard to create this communique. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Elena. Сегодня, коллеги, мы собрались для того, чтобы обсудить ваши рекомендации, присланные в адрес рабочей группы. So, friends, today we have gathered in order to discuss uh, your recommendations sent to the working group. Актуальные предложения войдут в итоговый документ гражданского форума «Пятерки», который будет передан главам государств, членов БРИКС во время его саммита. Many, propose, many proposals uh, will be included in the final document of the BRICS Civil Forum that is to be presented to the heads of the Alliance states during this summit. Коллеги, мы с вами общественная дипломатия, рупор гражданского общества, а деятельность наших неправительственных организаций БРИКС, защищающих интересы э, этого общества, Та практическая площадка, на которой реализуются инициативы как каждого гражданина, так и всего гражданского блока БРИКС. Коллеги, мы the public diplomacy, fulfilling the mission of the civil society mouthpiece. The activities of our non-governmental organizations support its interests. So it is the practical platform where the initiatives of each citizen and the entire BRICS civil track are implemented. В этом случае я люблю повторять слова отца индийской нации Махатма Ганди. Унция практики дороже тонны проповедей. And in such circumstances, I always like referring to the words of the father of the Indian nation, Mahatma Gandhi, that an ounce of practice is worth a thousand words. 
В нашей дискуссии принимают участие представители известных международных общественных организаций, ученые, писатели, историки, журналисты и студенты из всех стран БРИКС. And today in our discussion we gathered representatives of well-known international public organizations, scientists, writers, historians, journalists and students from all BRICS countries. Мы знаем, дорогие коллеги, как вы серьезно готовились к сегодняшней дискуссии и надеемся, что вам удалось познакомиться с присланным вам драфтом предложений. Поэтому наш сегодняшний разговор станет конкретным и понятным всем и принесет в дальнейшем неоценимую пользу для подготовки итогового документа гражданского форума БРИКС. И каждое ваше выступление, каждое ваше слово будет важным для нашего общего дела. Коллеги, все рекомендации были сформированы по пяти направлениям. Colleagues, all recommendations were formed in the following areas. Институциализация культурных связей, institutionalization of cultural ties, вовлечение молодежи в культуру стран БРИКС, involvement of youth in the culture of BRICS countries, развитие культурного обмена через литературу и искусство, development of cultural exchange through literature and art, защита культурного наследия как основы международного сотрудничества. Uh, Туризм, проекты и события в культурном треке. And tourism, uh, Ваши выступления, обсуждения и предложения будут касаться этих тем. Любезная просьба, дорогие коллеги, активно включаться в нашу дискуссию. Мы дадим возможность каждому, кто желает, сказать несколько слов на тему встречи. Your speeches, discussion and suggestions will address these topics. And we kindly request to actively participate in the discussion. Each participant who wishes to share a few words on the meeting agenda will get this opportunity. Друзья, любезная просьба соблюдать регламент. Для э, выступающих, для спикеров это 10 минут. Для uh, комментарий, uh, для обсуждений не более трех минут. And we would like to draw your attention that the speech limit shall not be more than 10 minutes and your comments up to three minutes. Из уважения к вам, мне бы очень не хотелось прерывать ваше важное для нас выступление. Поэтому заранее благодарю за понимание, друзья. And in respect to you, we really would not like to interrupt your important speeches And thank you in advance for your understanding. Коллеги, как нам известно, девиз гражданского форума 2020 – сотрудничество общественных организаций стран БРИКС в интересах устойчивого развития. Коллеги, как вы знаете, мотто Civic Forum – это кооперация БРИКС стран с публичными организациями в интересах устойчивого развития. Важно отметить, что анализ присланных вами рекомендаций показал стремление общественности гражданских институтов БРИКС к объединению, осуществлению наших креативных идей через многосторонние проекты. А это станет возможным для нас только тогда, когда мы объединимся в единую неправительственную структуру пятерки. Иначе мы по-прежнему будем работать в двухстороннем формате или один на один. Здесь особого внимания заслуживает инициатива о создании союза неправительственных организаций БРИКС. 
And it is important to note that the initiative uh, to create a union of BRICS non-governmental organization deserves special attention. Для uh, следующих целей. In order to углубление расширения пятистороннего взаимодействия НПО стран Альянса во всех направлениях. In order to deepen and expand the five-sided interaction of NGOs in the alliance countries while maintaining bilateral interaction. Для обретения новых креативных точек сближения в культурной и иных сферах. Find new creative points of convergence in the cultural and other spheres. Для четкой организации и координации нашей совместной деятельности НПО по реализации пятисторонних проектов. To clearly organize and coordinate joint activities of NGOs on the implementation of five-sided projects. И создание единой базы НПО БРИКС, которой пока нет на сегодня. And create a unified base of BRICS NGOs, which does not exist today. Ассоциация станет постоянно действующей практической площадкой для налаживания горизонтальных связей между культурными и иными институциями БРИКС с ее представительством в России, инициаторе данной рекомендации. And the association uh, will become a permanent practical platform for establishing horizontal ties between the cultural institution of the five with its representative office in Russia as the initiator country. Здесь особенно важно ответить, отметить предложенную рекомендацию о создании единого фонда грантовой поддержки проектов в сфере культуры и гражданских инициатив стран БРИКС, направленных на продвижение сотрудничества между государствами пятерки. И вновь созданный союз НПО БРИКС станет катализатором и координатором нашего пятистороннего взаимодействия. I shall note a proposed recommendation to create a joint uh, fund for grant support for cultural projects and civil initiatives within BRICS, aimed at promoting cooperation between the five member states, whereas the newly created BRICS Union of NGOs would become a catalyst and coordinator of this interaction. Путь к рождению этого союза был проложен во время нашего пятистороннего проекта «Великие учителя БРИКС», который в виде эстафеты культурно-исследовательских экспедиций был осуществлен во всех странах Альянса. The path for the union was created during our five-sided project «Great Teachers of the BRICS», which was implemented in all BRICS countries in the form of a relay race of cultural research expeditions. Поскольку нравственное наследие, оставленное великими мудрецами и философами Конфуцием, Львом Толстым, Махатмой Ганди, Нельсоном Мандела, бароном Дарио Бранко, стало той благодатной почвой, единой отправной точкой для зарождения у народов БРИКС потребности к объединению. Since the moral heritage left by the great sages and philosophers like Confucius, Leo Tolstoy, Mahatma Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, Baron de Rio Branco became that fertile ground, a single starting point when this need for rapprochement among the BRICS peoples emerged. Важно, что по окончании этого проекта мы вместе с вами подписывали в наших странах послание народов БРИКС о дружбе, доброте, согласии и доверии, которое может стать стартовым основополагающим документом созданного нами союза. And it is important that in the end of the project we will together in our countries sign the BRICS people's message on friendship, kindness, harmony and trust, which can become the starting fundamental document of the union created by us. К нашей радости в этой дискуссии принимают участие наши партнеры и коллеги, которые активно помогали в подготовке и проведении экспедиции «Великие учителя БРИКС». Еще раз спасибо, большое спасибо вам, друзья. To our great joy, our partners and colleagues take part in this discussion, and they participated not only in the great teachers of the BRICS projects and activities, but also helped uh, with its organization in each of the five countries. And thank you for your attention. Коллеги, приглашаем к выступлениям наших международных спикеров.
friends, we are welcome on our virtual stage, our international speakers from BRICS countries. После их выступления я дам возможность каждому желающему дать краткие комментарии к предложениям участникам встречи. After their speeches, we will give opportunity to everyone willing to say briefly about their recommendations and comments on the proposals of their participants. Слово Южноафриканской Республики. Welcome South Africa on our virtual stage. Вашему вниманию предлагается выступление госпожи Джейн Муфамади, международного сопредседателя нашей рабочей группы, исполнительного директора мемориального музейного комплекса Парк Свободы в Притории страны. We now welcome Ms. Jane Muhammadi, international co-chair of our working group, chief executive officer of the Memorial Museum Complex Freedom Park in Pretoria, South Africa, to present her speech. Госпожа Джейн, мы с радостью ждем вашего выступления. Miss Jane, we cannot wait and look forward to hear your speech. Thank you. We we'll listen to you. Um, thank you so much, uh, and I really appreciate the opportunity given to me. Uh, and in the interest of time, I'll just quickly go through my speech so that I'm within my 10 minutes. Uh, I think the, the one issue that I want to start with by way of introduction is to really just touch a bit on the dynamics of global int uh, integration, because I believe that this, um, there are four critical aspects that really stand out um, as political challenges that BRICS uh, continue to face in the global politics arena. Firstly, the issue that BRICS has to deal with national uh, integration uh, project uh, within its member states. And this really entails building a, a, an internally unified markets that are socially cohesive with the national identities of their respective countries. And secondly, BRICS should be seen uh, to be promoting a regional integration that is grounded on multi-layered economic communities. And thirdly, uh, it is BRICS responsibility to promote continental integration in which its member states are situated. And, and fourthly, and most importantly to me, it is within BRICS ambit to promote continental integration in which its member states are seen to be at the forefront of uh, such a project. And having said that, um, BRICS find itself at the epitome of promoting people-to-people -people exchanges so as to realize these four critical uh, goals. And I think in this instance, as we may all agree that the role of soft, soft power cannot be underestimated. Just a bit of a context uh, in terms of South Africa and its membership. Uh, since the attainment of the independence, I think particularly African states have yet to consolidate the economic infrastructure to a level where they can play us, particularly in the economic front. And we know that Africa is one of the continents with uh, an abundance of rich natural resources, which, are, which could be utilized really to save the the quagmire state in which we find ourselves in. And I believe that if well utilized, these resources could really save Africa uh, in, in, in general. And therefore there is talk to, to talk about uh, what we call the integration from below, which mainly hail the people to people exchange networks as really the bastion in which progressive continental integration in Africa should stem from. I think here the key question is um, how social capital may be made more resilient when we talk about people to people, how do we strengthen this? And I'm using the term social capital uh, to convey this as an asset held by a group of people and it can be probably described in this context in two variables. One, what I call relational connectivity and the relational capital to be social, people must be connected amongst themselves. And I think this is what uh, BRICS intends to do. And 
at the, this time, it is not enough that people are also held together by the quality of their relationships, but without the relational capital. And it is the community's ability to manage relational connectedness and relational uh, capital under changing context, because that is when communities become more resilient. And I, I think in that context, this is a shared thinking uh, and, and I believe cannot be realized until BRICS policies are predicated on people to people relationships and exchanges. And the problem here that I'm trying to, to put forward is that the emergence of new global order through uh, BRICS is an illustration of the complexities inherent in the creation of such a coalition. And this conglomerate of countries that are differently situated, both geographically and politically, and in some cases, culturally, is a critical test for sustenance of this alliance. And while political actors continue to play a pivotal role in ensuring that this alliance fulfills its mandate, non-political actors such as this country's citizens and civil societies remain the pivot which the success of BRICS should be pegged on. And the proposal here is that um, some examples, it's also in the international cultural exchange, for example, as one of the proposal, because we, we my, my argument is that the development of cultural uh, cooperation between the BRICS countries is fundamental to peace building, to economic development and the general intercultural education. Cultural exchange with other countries is very important. Uh, it's a means of deepening understanding, for example, of South Africa in relation to other countries and promoting international friendship and goodwill. As an interdependence amongst nations is increasing in society, it has become more important to cultivate personal contacts amongst nations by promoting through cultural exchange, mutual understanding of social foundations of each nation such as its language, customs, and cultural traditions. And while it is recognized that the private sector should play the primary role in uh, promoting cultural exchanges and that its initiative should be fully respected, it is also necessary to provide a basis uh, for supplementing non-governmental activities and facilitation of their smooth uh, implementation. Since some programs require such massive funding, for example, uh, of our highly technical knowledge done by non-governmental organizations alone, therefore there has to be a strong collaboration between the state, the private sector and civil society in relation to promotion of cultural exchange with economic development and international goodwill in mind. I just want to use an example or, or in terms of cultural uh, exchange. Uh, using the artists, the musicians, for example, they themselves, they bring about political economy uh, of cultural exchange and they can be utilized for cultural interface and cross-cultural pollination of ideas, leading to political interface and economic interface. If one is to use the example of Jamaica, Jamaica is well known for its reggae music and they've exported that hugely and have made huge benefits economically. Reggae, it's, it's anchored in the, in the cultural and religious belief of Rastafarianism as well, but they've made it so acceptable that we accept it, we love it, and we promote it without thinking. So they're entrenching their cultural and even religious beliefs through the use of artists and their, their musicians. Recently, South Africa has a global um, trend. One of our musicians called Master KG has just reached 100 million views of his song and the dance challenge, the song called Jerusalem. And that in itself, the minute every country, this song has reached more than 100 countries, more than 100 million views. This is anchored in the culture and knowledge of South Africa. And it's one area where there is a lot of opportunity in terms of uh, economic potential to use that uh, also to promote people to people, but also cultural and educational aspects of it. One another example and proposal is the role of museums and cultural institutions in the development of 
what I've called soft power. Museums and heritage and cultural institutions have long been at the forefront of representing cultural values and morals, being utilized as locations for instructions for centuries. And it is no wonder that in a world that is increasingly connected, these same institutions come to play their roles on international levels and have increasingly been used in international relations as well. They contribute to what Nier calls soft power, as I've said, the ability to persuade rather than coerce through elements of hard power. And I believe that if used properly, this can produce positive effects that governments can also use. And, and I'm going to use the example of Freedom Park where I use. Freedom Park is a government agency which is semi-independent, but part of government initiatives in South Africa. And this is a monument and a memorial that was conceptualized to honor those who died for freedom and humanity and to celebrate our liberation heritage. And while the focus is on the conflicts that took place in South Africa, one of the memorial's pillars is the aspect of international solidarities. We know that our freedom could not have been attained had it not been the support of other countries internationally. And therefore to honor them and to mark them, we have inscribed, for example, I'll use the example within the BRICS countries. We, we have honored the names of the Russian generals who supported and trained South Africans during the liberation struggle so that whenever pe people from Russia come to South Africa to Freedom Park, they see familiar names of the people that they know, people that they also consider their heroes who are also our heroes because they assisted us to achieve our freedom. We have also inscribed within our wall as part of our history, the names of Indian indentured laborers who were brought to South Africa under the pretext of working in the sugar canes, but when they came here, they were treated like slaves. We also have Chinese indentured laborers who were also brought to work in the mines. And when you come to Freedom Park, you see all these names, which is a melting pot of history. And people from these countries, they see that our, our history, our cultures in a way are integrated and they feel that they're part of the systems. Therefore, we use Freedom Park as an epicenter of intercultural exchange amongst the BRICS country themselves. And I believe that the same can be replicated in other countries. It may not be on the liberation struggle, but on other aspects of common and mutual interest, uh, for example. Therefore, this illustrates the capacity to attract relations by creating an image through heritage and culture to which other nations can relate to and or can respect. And I believe that the use of culture can also on one hand, keep the doors open for political negotiations and on the other contribute to the creation of a development of a favorable image at an international level of these countries. And therefore heritage can be considered as a wealth within which we can promote people to people a cooperation. And one aspect that is also anchored in culture, particularly in the African context is the role of women. Uh, in, in, in terms of promoting cultures, because women are mainly carriers of cultures. They nurture children and teach them the culture and heritage. Some are artists, are crafters, and some exhibit their cultural promotion. When you get these aspects from the women, you get the authentic history, culture, and heritage of that country, and you can benefit, and that is a receipt for forging closer ties and appreciation and understanding of one another as, as, as BRICS countries. Uh, the, the other um, issue that is also reflected in the proposal which I support is within the education uh, uh, aspect whereby there is a, a, a really potential of enhanced cooperation because most outbound students from BRICS countries enroll at universities in the West. And I think it's time we find mechanisms to bring them and interest them, them in enrolling and going out within the BRICS countries so that we begin with those programs and, 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 and cooperation around that. Because ample research and within the academia, I think this is a, a one well-known fact that people 
who studied from one country, even when they come back home, they still feel attached and they feel affinity to a country which they have studied, uh, which had uh, produced and contributed in the academic development to a point that they will tend to go back for other aspects and they forge permanent relationship and appreciations and lasting relationships and networks in those countries. So we can utilize also education, particularly again in the heritage and cultural uh, sector. We can have an exchange program around uh, heritage and culture to promote and emphasize those aspects. And also in, in terms of youth development, which is another area that is already being proposed that this could uh, promote and strengthen a mutual understandings for young people to make a positive contribution in the development of their countries. Because this initiative around youth will allow young people to gain an increased understanding of the development needs of their neighboring countries, but also broaden their experience by living and working in a cross-cultural environment. And upon return again, they will be encouraged to share their stories with the media and with the community in, 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 in general. And again, they will always tend to go back to the countries uh, where they were. We have seen other recipients of other scholarships internationally, forging those relationships and strengthening those exchange programs. But I think one area that I, I feel strongly about is around professional and leadership development programs for young professionals to begin also to exchange. Uh, so that we can draw lessons and learn from each other, particularly where one country is really struggling uh, within a, a, a specific area or specialization. That opportunity offered to, to, young, to leaders, young leaders or young professionals to come experience and interact and learn from each other, there will be a, a cross uh, pollination. I just want to conclude by saying that I, I do believe that uh, Building people to people ties through cultural uh, sports and diplomacy activities will offer mutual understanding and respect for all. I thank you. Сердечно благодарим вас, уважаемая господин госпожа Джейн, за ваш интересный и актуальный взгляд на развитие международного сотрудничество в культурном треке БРИКС и за ваш э, э, неоценимый труд в этом направлении. We sincerely thank you, dear Ms. Jane, for interesting and relevant view on uh, cultural cooperation within BRICS and uh, for your uh, invaluable contribution to the development of culture within our countries. Коллеги, во время нашей экспедиции в 2018 году в Южной Африке, в столице со дня рождения Нельсона Манделы, мы посетили территорию этот парк свободы, объект памяти о погибших в борьбе с апартеидом и в других войнах. Uh, colleagues, uh, during our expedition in 2018 uh, to South Africa, on the, on the 100th anniversary of the birth of Nelson Mandela, we visited this Freedom Park in Pretoria, an object of memory of those who died in the struggle against apartheid and in other wars. Уникальная обширная экспозиция мемориального комплекса, вечный огонь, огромная стена, на которой высечены имена всех героев, волнуют до слез. И хочется, чтобы таких человеческих потерь больше не было в мире. A unique and extensive exposition an eternal flame, a huge wall on which the names of all the heroes are carved. All of this makes eyes tearful, and we wish that such losses would no longer exist in the world. Поэтому очень символично, что именно в год празднования 75-летия победы во Второй мировой войне уважаемая госпожа Джейн стала международным сопредседателем нашей рабочей группы деятельность которая устремлена к миру и согласию между народами БРИКС через культурное сотрудничество. And it is very symbolic that in the year of the celebration of the 75th anniversary of the victory in the Second World War, it was distinguished Miss Jane who became the of our work group 
as her activities are aimed at peace and harmony among the peoples of Briggs through our cultural cooperation. Спасибо вам большое за ваш личный вклад в мирное развитие, госпожа Джейн. Thank you for your personal contribution to the peaceful development. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Коллеги, прошу вопросы к госпоже Джейн, если они у вас есть. Friends, your questions to Ms. Jane and comments on her speech. Коллеги, we listen to you. Uh, enough. Thank you very much, uh, um, Ms. Jane. Uh, коллеги, в продолжении юбилейной темы Позвольте сообщить о российской инициативе об учреждении по резолюции ООН Всемирного дня ветеранов войн. Okay. Коллеги, двигаемся дальше по БРИКС. Переходим к нашим партнерам и друзьям из Бразилии. And colleagues, uh, now we are moving in BRICS. Let's move to our partners and colleagues from Brazil. Предоставляю слово господину Леонардо Валенте, директору Института международных связей и обороны Федерального университета Рио-де-Жанейро. We give the floor to Mr. Leonardo Valente, Director of the Institute of International Relations and Defense of the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro, member of the BRICS Network University. Uh, Mr. Leonardo Valente представит презентацию своего выступления. Mr. Leonardo Valente will be presenting a speech using the e Please, Leonardo, we listen to you. Leonardo. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Uh, yes. Oh, Please, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh -huh. Mr. Zuchimila, Secretary. I thank you once again for the kind invitation to participate in this very important event. Dear colleagues, I'm very glad to be here. Uh, today, I have a specific co proposal about literature. I intend to not extend the 10 minutes. I, I try to do this. Uh, the administrator can share the presentation, please. I, I can see a, 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 a picture in front of the presentation. I don't know what's going on, but I have the presentation here and I will try to. Well, my presentation is about literature as an instrument of integration and cultural exchange in the BRICS countries. Uh, I'd like to talk about the importance of the literature for our cultures and that we need to, to, to be working together with projects about this. Uh, the next, uh, the next, uh, please. The next, please. Can you hear the administration? The... I think that's a problem with the presentation, but it's not, it's not a problem. Well, I try to, to, to speak only. Well, uh, future is one of the most important instruments for the union of our nations. For the BRICS to be a lasting alliance, it's essential that the people of the countries know each other and this folk culture that we are able to promote this knowledge and build affections and friendships. The cultures of the countries of the part of the BRICS are power of soft power, capable to strengthen integration, but also consolidate the groups imaging the world. Our countries are know throughout the world for cultural diversity and the quality of cultural production and these characteristics need to be integrated. Many cultural expressions must be target of important BRICS projects and initiatives, but I would like to emphasize the importance of literary projects 
for the following reasons. One, literature is one of the most important and efficient artistic expressions to get to know a culture, a people, and their country. Literature quickly reaches the elite of a country, opinion leaders, and has the ability to influence politics and other forms of arts, like uh, cinema, TV, visual arts, among others. The BRICS countries are internationally rec uh, recognized for the quality of their literature. Projects in the area of the literature are cheaper, faster, and easier to implement than projects in other artistic areas, such as cinema, for example. The literature produced by the BRICS country is little known by the countries in the group. So think about the need for the integration of our countries through culture and literature as an artistic, artistic expression that enable effective actions, I propose. One, a project for translation of literary works published in their respective countries so that they are published in all BRICS countries. This can be done through by project calls. Two, a creation of a BRICS literary fair held every year in one of the BRICS countries with a wide culture program and space for doing business. And three, creation of the BRICS literary awards to stimulation the knowledge and uh, of relevant books and writing in all BRICS countries. So uh, now we can see the presentation is more easy because my, my English is not so good. So you, uh, you can see the proposal. I repeat uh, the reasons. Literature is one of the most important and efficient artistic expression to get to know a culture, a people, and a country. Literature quickly reaches the elite of a country, opinion leaders, and has the ability to influence it, politics and other forms of art, cinema, TV, visual arts, among others. The big countries are internationally rec recognized for the quality of their literature. Projects in the area of literature are cheaper, faster, and easier to implement than projects in other artistic areas, such as cinema, for example. And the literature produced by BRICS countries is little known by the countries in the group. It's very important that we need to be known with others. Uh, the, the next, please. Think about the need for integration of our countries for culture and literature as an artistic expression that enables effective actions I propose. The next one, please. Proposals. A project for translation of literary works published in their respective countries so that they are published in all BRIC countries. This can be done through project calls. It's not difficult to do this. Uh, we need to, to, to build these projects together. It's very important. No? The creation of a BRICS literary fair held every year in one of the BRIC countries which a wide culture program and space for doing business. It's very, very important too, because uh, we need to stimulate uh, the, the literary works in all of our, our, our countries. And the creation of the BRICS Literary Award to stimulate the knowledge of relevant books and writers in all BRICS countries. The next, please. Well, uh, uh, it's very quickly to, to see about that, but it, it's a, a project that needs to be built uh, together with all uh, uh, countries of BRICS. I hope that the problems will gain uh, the sympathy of those present at this meeting and can be developed. It will be important for the literature and the culture of the BRICS countries. I'd like to thank you. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Благодарю вас, дорогой Леонардо, за очень интересное выступление по направлению литературы и искусства БРИКС. Thank you, dear Leonardo, for a very interesting speech on the topic about literature and art within BRICS. Вместе с Леонардо мы посадили бразильское дерево на территории Федерального университета в Рио-де-Жанейро в знак памяти и уважения к великим учителям БРИКС. Можно 
любезно вас спросить, как поживает наше дерево? Оно растет? Коллеги, у вас есть вопросы к мистеру Леонардо? Dear colleagues, would you like to ask a question to Mr. Leonardo? Your comments on the presentation. Uh, thank you very much, uh, dear Leonardo. Thank you. Uh, друзья, слово Китайской Народной Республики. Okay, so since there are no questions to Mr. Leonardo, let us move on. In France, it is the People's Republic of China. Вашему вниманию предлагается выступление uh, господина Ан Тинг, вице-президента Пекинской неправительственной ассоциации по международному сотрудничеству. Мы слушаем вас, дорогой коллега.女士们先生们各位家宾各位朋友大家好我是中国北京市民间组织国际交流促进会以下简称京促会的副会长也是北京西肯国际文化艺术公司董事长安婷感谢刘德米拉女士的邀请很高兴有机会啊同来自金砖国家的朋友们分享交流经验。Hi, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Tingyan's interpreter. Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests and friends, I'm An Ting, Vice President of Beijing NGO Network for International Exchanges, here in after Beijing NGO and the chairman of Beijing Shikan International Culture and our company. Thanks to Ms. Ludmila for her invitation. I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to exchange experiences with friends from the BRICS countries. First,我想向各位朋友介绍一下经促会组织和开展国际交流工作的情况。经促会成立于2008年8月 是一家拥有联合国、经社理事会、特别资商地位、获得联合国气候变化大会观察员地位的社会领袖、社会监委旨在推动北京市民间组织、国际与国际政府组织交流与合作。目前在一百二十四家会员单位，自成立以来，经促
um, bilateral and multilateral exchanges and cooperation with NGOs of over 70 countries. Attended over 10 international meetings, such as the United Nations Economic and Social Council high level conversation, Asia Europe People's Forum, and China Africa People's Forum. In, 20, in 2018, Beijing NGO sent a delegation to participate in the Civil Breaks Forum in Johann Johannesburg, established the partnership with Mr. Uh, with Ms. Ludmilla and BRICS, uh, and BRICS, the world of traditions. I'm very glad, I'm very glad that two associations could rekindle the relationship today and have a discussion on cultural cooperation between each other during this meeting. 我们是集版权引进 中国文化中心举行了中华文化巡点，竹运京城音乐会，让泰国各界民众对独特的竹叶文化津津乐道。通过交流，我们让世界了解了丰富多彩的中国优秀文化，宣传了中国五千年的优秀文化和演艺文化
美好的人类世界，添砖加瓦。我的发言到此结束，谢谢大家。Coronavirus epidemic disrupted our lives and hampered people-to-people -people communication this year. During the epidemic, people in the cultural circle worldwide bring hope and joy to people through singing, painting, and cultural creativity. Create the new context between people. On behalf of Beijing NGO, I hereby suggest to strengthen deep exchanges and cooperation with the opera and ballet of Russia, Bollywood, um, Bollywood of <clears throat> India, the rich traditional culture of Brazil and South Africa. Wish the NGOs of BRICS countries to institute institutionalize the cultural exchanges in various fields so that talented figures in the cultural circles contribute to the colorful, peaceful, and beautiful world. This is the end of my speech. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Ting, uh, Yang An Ting, за ваше интересное выступление и такое видение важное вашей перспективы вашей деятельности. Thank you very much, distinguished Mr. Antin, for your very interesting speech and your incredible view on our cooperation. Хочу сообщить, что эта ассоциация хорошо известна в Китае. И осуществляют масштабную деятельность по налаживанию развитию международных связей. I would like to inform you that this association, uh, well known in China, and uh, it implements uh, large scale activities for the establishment and development of international relations. В 2018 году мы принимали участие во втором масштабном общественном пекинском международном диалоге по путь сотрудничество на тему человеческих средств к существованию, которое данная ассоциация провела на очень высоком уровне. Uh, in 2018, we took part in the second large-scale uh, Beijing International Public Dialogue on the, public of, on the topic of uh, Belt and Road and cooperation in human livelihood. And uh, this event was held at a very high level. Благодарим вас, господин Антинг, и в вашем лице ассоциацию за важный и полезный труд на благо сближения народов. We thank you, Mr. Antinq, personally, and the Beijing NGO Network for International Exchanging Association for the important and useful work for bringing peoples closer together. Thank you very much. Дорогие коллеги, в, нашей, в ходе сегодняшней повестки мы выстраиваем практические ориентиры нашего пятистороннего взаимодействия. В этой связи позвольте сообщить, что в год председательства Китая в БРИКС в 2022 году мы вместе с вами будем реализовать в Китае проект «Народы БРИКС выбирают жизнь», направленный на физическое и нравственное оздоровление людей. Dear colleagues, in the course of our today's agenda, we are forming practical guidelines for our far-sighted interaction. Let us inform you that in the year of China's presidency in BRICS in 2022, we are jointly implementing the project in China, BRICS Peoples Choose Life, which is aimed at improving physical and moral health of people. Мы надеемся, что пекинская организация, представленная господином Ан, будет с нами в качестве соорганизаторов. And we hope that the Beijing organization represented by Antin will be with us as the co-organizer. Друзья, мы двигаемся в Индийскую республику. So friends, we are moving on. Friends, we have the Republic of India with us. Слово представляется госпоже Пурними Анант, президенту Международного форума БРИКС, почетному президенту Международной Федерации Российско-Индийских Молодежных Клубов в Нью-Дели. We now give the floor to Ms. Purnima Anand, President of BRICS International Forum, Honorary President of the International Federation of Indian-Russian Youth Clubs in New Delhi. 
We are waiting for your speech, dear Purnima. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. My, my greetings from India to Ludmilla to organize such a wonderful program and to unite all of us on this platform. Uh, a very, very warm welcome to all our friends present here. It is such a pleasure to interact and converse with all friends from China, South Africa, Brazil, India, and of course, chair country of BRICS 2020, the Russian Federation. I'm delighted to see my old and new friends from BRICS and BRICS Plus countries in this round table, intercultural cooperation and strengthening the BRICS unity. Uh, I, I feel Victoria Panova is here. She, she is present here. She's listening us. Okay. So, uh, actually, I met her in Vladivostok. It was very beautiful university. And I wish to continue our work with the Paris University. Uh, it was very good experience in Vladivostok. And in such programs, we can meet together again and again. So, honored colleagues and present dignitaries, I take your precious moment to address the crux of our, us being here at this critical juncture to serve our purpose to the agenda as laid for international cultural exchange, keeping future in mind and further consolidating the respective position of us, five nations in matters ranging from culture, heritage, wisdom of great teachers to big technologies and very disruptive data. The outbreak of this pandemic has really hit everybody. Uh, Civil BRICS 2020 help us sustain solidarity and work towards developing sustainable solutions. Since the slogan for Civil BRICS 2020 is cooperation of public organization of the BRICS countries. Public organization present in this Civil BRICS forums are torch bearers of BRICS agenda because present BRICS leaders in this round table, working with selfless interest and promoting love and friendship, which is culture of BRICS countries, inherited from the old and rich civilization of our country. Furthermore, I serve my cause to, the, to be here this time to leverage our resources for a better time ahead with mutual respect, active collaboration, and people-to-people -people diplomacy and ensuring a sustainable mobility in parallel to provisions as laid by United Nations and other reputed international groups and alliances. We are working for noted humanitarian peaceful cause with an international outlook. We put forward the provision of BRICS to my priority for my friends for an utility-based alliance. Being served by a comprehensive yet unified long cultural heritage of the five nations. We are tirelessly working to create network and strengthen relations among civil organizations and institutions to carry forward BRICS agenda and outcome of BRICS summit. BRICS International Forum has always contributed significantly in building people to people dialogue. Since I have worked towards building relations with the diplomatic sector and state governments for vision for future in the past, and it's constant and constantly associated with analyzing the socio-political economical understanding to bear and leadership uh, for innovative startup entrepreneurship in the digital era. From India, I am agreed and appreciate the recommendation of BRICS International Cultural Exchange which are very fine-tuned and accurate to fulfill the agenda of BRICS reforms. Further, I put forward these following provisions for years ahead. We cherish the cultural heritage dating hundreds of years of the five nations, our guiding teachers for setting the path. History spells the majestic contribution of countries. Confucius, Gandhi, Tolstoy, and Mandela, and many notable souls for us to be here by being clear and loud with decision. For this, I propose a great strategic nexus of major cities 
being united under the guidance guidance of great teachers who did set path and work for revolution in these places like new delhi beijing moscow johannesburg rio de janeiro in terms of deep mutual historic ties concerned with art and culture of each city and liberating technology to unify this and put it to the web for better communication and nexus among the alliances this is the unity and empowerment of brics countries we all are together from metro cities with love and affection i propose integration plan of metro cities in brics countries for unity web fusion and innovation will create new opportunities for next generation to understand their respective culture and civilizations i appreciate the devotion and energy sparked by lidmila sikicheva president regional public organization brics the world of tradition co chair for the successful implementation of project brics great teacher next year brics torch will come to india and i hope madam lidmila you will like my proposal to connect metro city where brics great teacher starts the light of revolution you are noted great devotee of mahatma gandhi and india respect your devotional work for peace and love furthermore in this age of digitalization i propose to harness this disruptive force to readdress modify and preserve our ancient history contribution of great teachers and their legacies in digital form to be assessed and used by institutions fellow academicians and business perspective and get lessons to year ahead for a better mutual understanding deep cultural ties and propagating lessons of our great teachers to a large number of people in various parts and cities of the world at a time when billions of people come online and assess the web for life to move on i wish to invite all speakers and guests present here to, uh, to brics 2021 to launch brics great cities project under the patronage of brics great teachers program i propose to set up a forum of startups young academicians young industry people youth artist of this major brics cities to further communicate on matters of art literature culture and business and form a nexus to work on diverse fields to promote the vision of brics and work for the interests of brics uh i wish to congratulate and request madam lidmila to send my greetings to mr prima ko uh, head of rosok sidney chesco soft power of russian federation i appreciate next generation project during last 3 years brics countries young leaders visited to modern russia and understood the impact of sanctions and struggle of russian citizens to build modern self sustained russia rosok sidney chesco centers can become the place where brics can well offer brics program especially brics uh, public organization can promote many things and we can honor the young people academicians and different uh, innovative uh, entrepreneurs uh, we can honor them at that place because russian centers are very good and they are in the center of metro cities so it can be a good initiative of union of brics non governmental organizations uh keeping in mind in the uh, provision to work from home nowadays we are in pandemic time i propose digitalization of assets of business tourism health and education sector for a better connectivity and flow of knowledge and money at the same time this tool to propagate culture and art shall provide means of employment to different people who come on brics platform to seek enhancement and better connectivity as we know world is celebrating 75th anniversary of great victory of second world war russia had many plans and russian uh, lost the maximum life during second world war and we are observing that united nation also 
uh, celebrating this program, but due to pandemic, so many things changed. But during this 75th anniversary, I propose that we should have uh, initiative of library project in the metro cities of BRICS countries to understand the legacy and loss of the lives during Second World War. So uh, this will bring an essential patriotic essence and minds of the BRICS young people. And uh, I said that uh, always uh, when we unite, we are working together, teamwork always give very good results. Above all, during this program, uh, we should decide and took place that we all public organization will work together and we will stand with each other. Because when public organizers and public forums organize some programs, we face many problems at the uh, Ministry of External Affairs, from government department, from public department, from the business community. And uh, when we are together, we can face and we can overcome from such problems. This is my first uh, request from all the uh, speakers present here, that from this platform, we all should unite. And uh, I really appreciate uh, Madam Lidmila that she connected all of us. And uh, we will see that after BRICS 2020, we all will meet in India and we shall uh, bring the more uh, energy and more uh, enthusiasm in our work and uh, in next month our honorable president from russia mr vladimir putin is visiting to india in september to re-strengthen uh, our relation and i congratulate russian people russian citizens to get first vaccine for the covid 19 and hope india and other BRICS countries will also get association and uh, uh, a mutual agreement uh, with the Russian government to get this vaccine or joint collaboration for the humanity because health is important. We are seeing that we cannot uh, uh, care, we, we cannot live without uh, health tools in such uh, conditions. So uh, I congratulate once again to all of you and we are having very good uh, continuity from Russia to India and India to China. So RIC model is also working. And I feel that uh, when we will do the programs uh, yesterday, I heard that uh, BRICS sports games are happening in India. So I request to, to these members of this group that uh, we should organize public forums uh, program during that uh, uh, sports program because sports is also very important sports, tourism, education, these all segments are very important and need to be uh, convert all the information on web because digitalization is happening. So with all these uh, requests and my recommendations, I uh, appreciate this program once again and I'm heartily thankful and uh, I'm really happy to see Valeria here and so many of my good friends. I met time to time and Valeria came to India in 2015 when we initiated BRICS International Forum. And Valeria, I hope you can see that we are promoting, we are growing and we are extending our work. Uh, our one friend, Mr. Uh, Gafari from uh, Yemen is present here. He is very uh, prominently working on BRICS. All the time he follow all the BRICS programs happening in different countries. And uh, he's working very good. And recently he organized Sustainable Development Goal Program with BRICS uh, uh, agenda. So I will uh, appreciate if you will say uh, uh, us that how people are connecting with us with BRICS agenda under BRICS Plus program. So very soon, I hope we all will be meeting in some program then pandemic uh, things will overcome and we shall meet. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Ludmila. Good day. Microphone. You see some? 
Mm-mm. Нет, не слышно. Никакого. Вот теперь да. А, теперь да. Нет, теперь не слышно. Через Аниту слышно. Ага, а сейчас? Да, давайте через Аниту. Давайте через, да. Uh, thank you very much, Dea Purnima, for your great speech and uh, uh, your kind words. Thank you very much. I love you very, very much. Да, yes. Uh, Пурнима она, дорогие коллеги, проводит большую работу в Индии по объединению интернациональной молодежи. Uh, to your information, Purnima Anand is doing a great job in India to unite international youth. Uh, в марте этого года мы участвовали в международном форуме видения будущего, организованного Пурнимой. И было радостно видеть, что ее главными помощниками были студенты из ряда ведущих университетов Индии, включая Дельский государственный университет. This year in March we participated in the International Forum uh, Vision of the Future, organized by Purnima, Madam Purnima, and uh, it was uh, great to see that her main assistants were students from a number of the leading universities in India. Uh, including the Delhi University. Примите нашу большую благодарность за ваш добрый и бескорыстный труд, дорогая Пурнима. Please accept our great appreciation to your work, dear Пурнима. Коллеги, в 2021 году Индия председательствует в БРИКС. В наших планах реализовать и статью пятистороннего проекта БРИКС «Единство многообразия искусства» в таких индийских городах, как Мумбаи, Пуна, Бангалор, Чинае, Тривандру. Коллеги, Индия будет участвовать в БРИКС в 2021 году. Мы планируем использовать так-называемый релей пятисторонний проект БРИКС «Unity in the Art Diversity» в таких индийских городах, как Мумбаи, Бангалор, Ченнай, Тривандру. Таким образом, проект, в котором примут участие художники из всех стран БРИКС, охватит всю Индию. Thus, the project gathering artists from all BRICS countries will cover the whole India. Коллеги, просим вас и ваших творческих коллег подключаться к этому проекту. Коллеги, uh, all of your Friends and art colleagues are welcome to join this project. Дорогие друзья, мы закончили выступление спикеров и переходим к вашему обсуждению выступивших предложений на тему встречи. Пожалуйста, большая просьба не более трех минут. Colleagues, so we finished uh, our speakers' uh, speeches, and now uh, you're welcome for the discussion. Позвольте сообщить, что в нашей встрече принимает участие Михаил Горбатов, начальник управления информационного сопровождения и взаимодействия с субъектами Российской Федерации, Федерального агентства по делам содружества независимых государств, соотечественников, проживающих за рубежом, и по международному гуманитарному сотрудничеству. Мы будем рады вашему выступлению, уважаемый Михаил Юрьевич. Let us inform you that today with us participating Michael Gorbatov, head of the Department for Information Support and Interaction within the Group of Independent States, compatriots living abroad and international humanitarian cooperation. We are looking forward to your short speech, dear Mr. Mayor Good evening, dear colleagues and friends. Uh, I'm very happy to participate in this international web conference. I'm glad to welcome all participants and my special greetings to Madam Ludmila and Madam Purnima, which we used to meet in Chennai. I represent Russian government agency Rosatrudnichistu that is operating under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Russian Federation. Uh, we had an honor to support the project uh, Great Teachers of BRICS uh, that was brought to interaction by BRICS World of Tradition, Traditions Organizations and Lemila. 
um, this year Rosatrudnichestvo is celebrating its uh, 95th anniversary and um, this is also considered to be the anniversary of Russian people's diplomacy or public diplomacy. Back in uh, 1925, the Union of Soviet Friendship Societies was founded. Personally, I don't like the terms of power because it doesn't reflect the essence of humanitarian cooperation between countries. Nowadays, uh, public diplomacy is more common to be called NGO diplomacy or expert diplomacy. Uh, and in fact, it has become not just an addition to political uh, diplomacy, but a self-consistent institution that often is more effective. Uh, and on behalf of uh, Rosatrudnichestvo, we sincerely support the initiative of creating the association of BRICS-related NGOs. It is very important that this future organization not just exist virtually, but had its permanent office and body and uh, administrative possibilities, because government efforts are not enough to extract maximum advantage from the conception of BRICS, as I would say. And I want to greet all NGOs of BRICS countries for promoting this people-to-people -people ties and important initiatives. Thank you very much. Сергеевич Михаил Юрьевич за оценное выступление, поддержку наших инициатив и ваше неоценимое содействие проекту Великие учителя Брикс в Южноафриканской Республике. Thank you, Mr. Michael Gorbachev, for, you, for uh, your amazing presentation and your invaluable assistance in our project, uh, Great Teachers of Brics. Дорогие коллеги. Как мы уже говорили, в этом году празднуется 75-летие победы во Второй мировой войне, Великой Отечественной войне, в которой воевали все народы в пятерке. Dear colleagues, this year we celebrated 75th anniversary of the victory in the World War II and the Great Patriotic War of 1941 till 1945, where all the peoples of the five contributed. Вместе с вами мы осуществляем в этом году пятисторонний литературно-исторический проект «Народы Брикс. Героям воин посвящаем», который служит правдивому освещению военных событий и участников на основе архивных документов и исторических книг, авторами которых стали историки и литераторы из стран Альянса. Together with you, we are implementing a five-sided literary historical project BRICS peoples dedicated to war heroes, which serves as a truthful coverage of war events with the use of archival documents and history books. Those authors are historians and writers from the Alliance countries. Книги для презентации проекта, который пройдет в Центральном музее Победы в Москве, предоставлены посольствами Индии, Китая, ЮАР, и нашими партнерами из Индии, Бразилии и ЮАР. The books were provided by the embassies of India, China, South Africa in Russia and our partners from India, Brazil and South Africa. Uh, среди нас, дорогие коллеги, есть замечательные наши бразильские друзья, ставшие с авторами книги Великая Отечественная война советского народа, утверждающая ведущую роль Советского Союза в этой войне. Это Александра Скангарелли и это Ферреро де Сильва Лопес. Today with us we have our wonderful Brazilian friends who have become co-authors of the book The Great Patriotic War of the Soviet People, which affirms the leading role of the Soviet Union in this war. These are Alessandra Scangarelli and Edem Pereira da Silva Lopez. Взгляд на правдивую историю этой войны глазами бразильских авторов особенно ценно сейчас, когда некоторые западные страны пытаются ее переписать и взять на себя все заслуги в этой победе. This view at the real history of this war through the eyes of Brazilian authors is especially valuable now when some Western countries are trying to rewrite our story, taking credits for this victory. I'm happy to welcome you, dear partner, 
Alexandro Scangarelli. I'm delighted to welcome our Brazilian partner and friend, Alexandra Scangarelli. The floor is yours, dear colleague. Everyone can listen to me. Okay, thank you. Спасибо большое, дорогая Людмила Скачева. Спасибо. I wrote some words with my colleague, uh, which Ludmila mentioned is here with us at the Imperiera da Silva, and I will read for you. It's really short, no, no problem. <laughs> Dear participants and representatives, my name is Alessandra Scangarelli Brits. I am Brazilian. I live in Rio de Janeiro. I am a journalist and specialist in international politics and media studies. I am editor in chief of Revista Intertelas, a new website which intends to inform and analyze the impact of culture and media on international relations. I'm speaking on behalf of my colleagues, especially on behalf of my colleague, Eden Pereira da Silva, who I already saw say it, is, already, is here with us. Eden is also Brazilian and he also lives in Rio. He is a historian, specialist on international politics. He writes to Intertelas and other websites in Brazil. First, we thank uh, Lyudmila Sekachova for the opportunity to be part of this meeting. Intertelas and BRICS World of Traditions are partners. Dear Sekachova asked us to send recommendations to this meeting. So we wrote two recommendations on the importance of cooperation between the BRICS countries on film and literature markets, both in terms of producing content together in the future and also making films and books produced in the BRICS countries more available to the public of these five nations. We also believe this is extremely important as we must learn and know more about each other directly from our sources without the interference of other countries. We believe studying and producing content together is one of the most important steps for truly trying to know more about each other. I'm going to mention one project that Ludmila already did uh, that adding me and other colleagues organized in order to preserve the memory of the Soviet Union, an important partner of the Allies during the Second World War, which had a key role to the results of the war and to the victory of the Allies. Adding me and other colleagues are part of an independent research group whose main goal is to study the USSR participation in the Second World War. Unfortunately, despite being so important to the victory over fascists, the role of Soviet Union is not well known in Brazil. So we're trying to fulfill this gap on scientific and historic literature written in Portuguese. This book is also part now of the historic and literary project created and organized by the BRICS World of Traditions organization, which aims to preserve the memories of BRIC countries' uh, participation in the war by presenting books written in the BRIC countries about this subject. We thanks for the, this opportunity that the BRICS Old of Tradition organization gave to us. Finally, I also asking, speaking on behalf of adding other colleagues, we would like to show our support to the recommendation of BRICS Old of Traditions, uh, which intends to foster public diplomacy and co cooperation which, between no governmental organizations of the BRICS countries. We believe all initi initiatives we could think about when it comes to cooperation between the BRICS countries depends much of the public diplomacy and cooperation of the BRICS civil societies to practically, practically reach the goals we aim to achieve. Thank you and nice to meet you all. Sorry. Uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, dear uh, Alessandra. Uh, мне с Александрой очень uh, 
общаться в любое время дня и ночи, тем более у нас разница в 6 часов, потому что она хорошо знает английский, русский, русский язык. For me, yeah. it's very comfortable to communicate uh, to Alessandra because she speaks Russian. Друзья, я хочу поблагодарить Александру за ее личный вклад, ее день, международное сотрудничество с народом. Friends, I want to thank Alexandra for her personal and her friends' contribution to the cooperation of the BRICS peoples. Uh, the Revista Intertelas magazine, where they work, covers all the events and projects that we implement throughout the BRICS cultural space and other areas. Thank you very much, um, Ali, Alexandra, and uh, uh, them. Взгляд на правдивую историю этой войны. Sorry. Проект честь Великой Победы объединил нас не только с бразильскими коллегами, но и с индийскими. Неоценимую помощь в теме передачи нам книг на тему солидарности советского и индийского народа во время войны оказал наш партнер Дипаншу Гуптан. Коллеги, The anniversary project in honor of the great victory united us not only with our Brazilian colleagues, but also with our friends from India. Our partner, Dipanchu Gupta, associate member of the Institute of uh, Chartered Accountants of India, New Delhi, uh, provided invaluable assistance in acquiring and transferring books on the topic of solidarity between the USR and India's peoples. Uh, dear colleague, uh, uh... Вы с нами сейчас? Dear colleague, are you with us today? Дипаншу Гупта. We switch on your mic. Yes. Я выражаю ему заочно. Он планировал быть и уже согласовывал с нами свое выступление, но, видимо, что-то... Mr. Dipanshu actually planned yeah. to be with us today, and we actually uh, collaborated on this issue. But let me uh, let me express my uh, deepest thanks uh, to him. Я хочу сказать, что Дипаншу большую работу проделал по получению нами книг. И хочу сказать, что он с такими надежными партнерами вами и такими как Дипаншу. Мы можем сделать очень много полезного для пятерки. So what we can say now is that thank you for supporting Mr. Dipanshu. The idea of creating the NGO Brics Association. We talked about it earlier before the meeting, and with partners like you, we can do a lot of valuable things for the five. Thank you very much for your support. Друзья, мы приглашаем к нашему виртуальному микрофону коллегу из Южной Африки Мэтью Альфред Джона. Friends, so now we invite our colleague from South Africa, Matthew Alfred John Vanenburg, Youth Climate Junior Researcher at the South African Institute of International Affairs, to our virtual microphone. Please, Matthew. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so. After engaging with these comprehensive and highly imaginative recommendations, I truly believe that this expression of our collective will strives to address critical observations like those of Andrei Movchan, who cites an incompatible diversity of culture as one of the five major impediments to effective political and economic cooperation and overall synergy between the five. Circling back to Ms. Mufamadi's cogent speech, the deepening of mutual cultural appreciation, as well as cultivating and optimizing our application of our individual, sorry, of our individual and collective cultural capital or soft power is sure to deepen the multilateral unity of this promising alliance. <clears throat> By harnessing the cooperative potential 
of an intensified cultural dimension. Another as aspect of Ms. Mufamadi's contribution that stood out for me was that our nation's history is seldom our own or ours alone. It is an accumulation of interactions, a record of discord and mutual understanding. Therefore, it should be in our collective interest to preserve the material and intangible intellectual heritage of our allies and friends. The arduous task of fostering mutual understanding and mutual appreciation will hopefully enable us to engage more consciously, more empathetically, and more authentically with one another. Uh, Mr. Valente's suggestion of growing our soft power and concomitantly deepening mutual understanding and appreciation through the creation of a BRICS literature fair and through the collaborative medium of film or cinema also resonates with me. Therefore, I appreciate the recommendations grouped under development of cultural exchange through literature and art. Regarding recommendations eight to 10, the involvement of the youth in the future of BRICS, the future of BRICS is essential um, and the Alliance's longevity can only be continued and its relevance through the um, extending of its benefits to all vocational sectors. Ultimately, the benefits of BRICS need to be extended to and experienced by early career professionals in vocations beyond the traditional hotspots of economics and development, politics and governance and the sciences. So just to summarize my recommendation under the theme involvement of the youth in the culture of BRICS countries, in this vein of multilateral cultural exchange, I submit that there is a great potential in creating partial or full rotation mobility internships or scholarship programs that enable the youth and emerging labor forces of BRICS to adopt and engage with academic views and situational idi idiosyncrasies from the unique perspectives and complex terrains of the five. Knowledge sharing is key. Collectively, the rich material cultures of BRICS still has much to teach our young professionals and together I believe the outcome um, for producing uh, greater intellectual capital to contribute to the world's uh, problem solving forces is, is a positive on the horizon. Thank you. Thank you very much, dear, my dear. Thank you very much for your valuable suggestion in the young track of BRICS. Thank you very much for your valuable suggestion for the BRICS youth track. Thank you. Uh, uh, dear friends, if you have any questions or comments uh, right now, you can, uh, you're free to express yourself. Пожалуйста, ждем ваших вопросы. Нам написали, что кто-то, э, э, они то кто у нас? Mr. Aldafari, uh, so are you going to speak? Yes, please. It's your turn. Please, one minute for your command. Yes, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yes, 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 we can hear you. Thank you. Yes, we can. So thank you, President, Mrs. Uh, Lundmila. Thank you, my friend, Valeria. Uh, greetings to all esteemed panel. I'm grateful to President uh, Mrs. Uh, Burnima. It is by uh, Mrs. Burnima that uh, our government in Yemen for the first time will celebrate and hold a day for Mahatma Gandhi on uh, the coming October. And thanks to all Mahatmas of the history. So speaking to you from Sana'a, the capital of Yemen, we believe BRICS theory. We believe BRICS countries and that they are the answer of the culture of development. Saying that, allow me to say by means of culture of development that there is much food for great arts. So culture is a challenge. We need to move from the culture of monsters to the culture of beauty. But we cannot only say that this is, you are a monster or the imperialism is a monster. We have to show beauty. How to show beauty? That is by living development and living dignity. A dignity. A surprise to say that our youth parliament is now six years old. At 2015, we started like one-to-one -one meetings, but uh, 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 trust me. We only uh, found the good and, 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 and powerful stand when we started at 2016 with a famous giant, literally, his name is Abdul Aziz Al-Magalih, 
We had 15 uh, workshop with him for five months. When we found this very grand culture uh, stage, uh, I believe that that was uh, uh, the milestone of our trip until now for uh, six years. Uh, late, that, uh, thank you, thank uh, you, Mr. Al Ghaffari. Uh, I'm sorry for interrupting you. We have a limited time now. We have uh, uh, Miss Victoria Panova, Professor Victoria Panova. Uh, she's with us for a couple of minutes, so she will give her a command. Oh, hello, everybody. I hope you can see me. Um, I intentionally, I'm at the other meeting, so fortunately, I could only join you for uh, just one minute. But I really wanted you to make sure you see this. This is their uh 75 years of um victory in the world war ii that uh, russia and uh, all the countries of anti-nazi uh regime and all the BRICS countries are part of that of course uh, uh are celebrating and uh i think this is also a good um addition to the round table that you're having I've heard from my colleagues that it's been a really wonderful experience, really good discussion. And I promise that after uh, this event here is over, I will uh, watch you on YouTube. And I'm also very much expecting that all the bright ideas that's been expressed ought to be worked further on and uh, will be realized at their um, forum that will have both online and offline mixed format uh, later 23rd, 25th September. And uh, hope some of you we will see in person and uh, those countries that would not be able to travel will join us again, once again online. Thank you again for your real enthusiasm for BRICS and for passion for this particular topic. Um, just, and have a good luck and uh, thanks for this round table. Looking forward to later September to see you all again. Thanks. Thank you very much. Дорогие друзья, мы завершаем нашу встречу и хотим сказать, что она показала стремление каждого из нас двигаться дальше по дороге развития наших многосторонних отношений. Dear participants, uh, like-minded colleagues, we conclude our fruitful discussion, uh, which showed uh, the desire of each of you to move further and look on developing our multilateral relations. Главное, что вы все знаете, как это можно осуществить на практике, и у нас все получится, ведь мы родом из The main thing is that you know how it can be done in practice, and we will succeed because we are from BRICS. Спасибо большое, что были сегодня с нами. Спасибо за ценные мысли и предложения, которые мы постараемся реализовать вместе. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for the valuable thoughts and suggestions, which we will try to implement together. Как говорил Махатма Ганди, найди цель, ресурсы найдутся, а общая цель у нас есть. As Mahatma Gandhi proverb was, Find a goal and resources will be found. And we have a common goal. Коллеги, в отличие от границ, наши сердца всегда открыты на встречу друг другу. И у нас много практических дел впереди. Colleagues, unlike borders, our hearts are always open to meet each other. And we have a lot of things to achieve ahead. Искренне надеемся, что сегодняшняя встреча наполнила вас любовью и дорогой друг другу. And we sincerely hope that today's meeting filled you with love and kindness that plays key role once you implement a goal. Желаю всем успеха, удачи, добра, счастья в нашей жизни и деятельности. We wish to all of us success, good luck, kindness and happiness in life and work. Всего доброго, друзья. До встречи на гражданском форуме БРИКС. All the best, dear friends. See you at Civil Breaks Forum. The Svidania. Goodbye. Zai Zain. Namaste. Ate logo. Your Ludmila Sekachova. I love you very much. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Bye. Okay. Thank you very much. Hope to see oh, you again. Oh. Uh, thank, you. Uh, thank you very much. You are here. It is uh, my um, nash, our friend from uh, South uh, Africa. Uh, <laughs> in, uh, the, uh, it's a foundation um, door to door. Опоздали, дорогой друг, немного, но успел. Dear friend, dear friend, you are late a little bit, but still you are with us today. Мы не можем его не послушать. Он, этот наш дорогой друг, 